It's early and I'm feeling very unimaginative, so uh, <laughs> Glenn's gonna do my intro for me. Ready, three, two, one, go. Good morning and welcome to Richard's vlog at Point Perrin. It's perfect. Oh, top of the hill, top of the hill, come on. <laughs> uh, so yes, we are down here at a place called Point Perrin near Rockingham. Um, I have never been here before. This place actually has been on my list of places to come and shoot for a little while. Uh, Glenn is from Sydney. It has taken someone to fly over from the other side of the country and actually suggest coming down here. That's what it took for me to, for me to get here. So Glenn's been traveling light and he's just uh, armed with his drone today. There is a naval base, like what, how far? We well, can see it from here. Yeah, yeah not far Not at far all. at all. So we're just finding out exactly where he can and can't fly his drone. Uh, if we head this way about, what, three and a half feet, we should be okay. <laughs> we should be on the other side of the line. But if we head that way, God knows yes. what will happen. Yes, God knows what will happen. So follow CASA rules at all times when flying a drone, very important. So this place is just made up of all this, you know, like typical sandstone and, and shrubbery that you'll, uh, you know, that you find all over the place around Perth. Uh, it's, I don't know, for me it's not overly inspiring, but um, just back this way and round this way, which is where we're heading, there's a few, I don't know, we could, you could almost call them sea stacks. You've called them sea stacks. Very low sea stacks. You can almost call them sea stacks. So, but a few sort of nice rocky formations just out, out in the water. So uh, I think there's, you know, a bit of potential, Possible. bit of potential, possible potential. <laughs> We don't want to get too excited. Possible potential for a couple of shots around here somewhere. This is the problem with making videos like this. You gotta do everything twice. Down the hill, up the hill, down the hill again. <sighs> All right, so I've jumped down onto this little platform of rock here. And I think, I think I just gotta choose a spot and start shooting because uh, the sun is on its way up. Uh, so this, I think you can see it from here. This is that sort of sea stack. It's a couple more, there's another one around the corner. There's a couple more just out here. So that um, I think is what, what I'm gonna be shooting. And then just in the foreground, there's not a whole lot in the foreground here. Some jagged rocks, a few little barnacle-y type things here. And the water's just sort of lapping around them. So I might just try and get a nice sort of peaceful shot with a bit of water swirling around some of these rocks in the, in the foreground and the background here. A few little sort of quite circular little puddles. Would you call them puddles, pockets? You, you wouldn't call them pockets. Let's go with puddles. Little puddles of water in the foreground. Just a few of them dotted around here and then it's just leading out to this sea stack here. Um, it's okay. It's good enough. I'm going to try and grab another shot though. Uh, while there's, yeah, while this light is still okay. Alright, so I just, I moved around a little bit from where I was before just really a couple of steps and just to get a slightly different angle on this rock. Uh, so I've sort of moved into the water and I'm just framing up a shot. Well, I have framed up a shot. I've just got one rock. Well, the whole, we're on this rocky shelf. So one part of the rock that's sticking up above the water. That's right in the foreground and it's just leading straight out to this big, I'm gonna call it a sea stack, leading out to it there. Well, 
that's me done. Uh, I think those shots down there are okay. They'll do for now. Anyway, I'm gonna go find Glenn. I left him back up here. I'm gonna see what he's up to. So as a non-drone user, my focus is always on the ground. Uh, what I can see from the ground. But what are you, you know, when you come out and do this, what are you looking for? What are you trying to get? Well, uh, here in Western Australia, it's, it's all about the colour of the water, really. Um, and so what I'm looking for is some sort of those deep greens in the water, um, contrasting against that white rock out there. So that's what I went for this morning. Mornings like this, where there's obviously no cloud, it's all about sort of shooting directly down and, and sort of getting that sort of top-down perspective of, uh, of the rocks. As the sun gets higher, it does light up the ocean floor, so it sort of really brings out the greens and the, and the blues in the water. Make sure you head over to Glenn's YouTube channel, uh, Instagram, where else can we find you? Um, the big three, so yeah, Instagram, YouTube and Facebook. Okay, uh, Air Gear? Eye gear. Eye gear. I always get that wrong. Yeah, that's all right. Eye gear photography. Uh, I'll put links up, down, you know, the usual place you'll find links. Yeah. Uh, go check it out. All right. I think we're done. We're I done? We're, I think we're done, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well and truly. Turned out to be a pretty good morning, though. Reasonably quick, like once the sun, once the sun pops up from the far horizon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, yeah, it all happens pretty quickly. And yeah. when there's no cloud in the sky. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It's a tough condition. Yeah. Uh, but it's good, definitely a place to come back to. So I think I'll keep this on my list for somewhere to come shooting again. Uh, but thanks for bringing me down here. Not a problem at all. You came several thousand kilometers I and I came five about- Five hours to do this uh, shoot, yes. There we go. <laughs> uh, anyway, as I said before, make sure you head over Check out Glenn's stuff, links down, up, everywhere. And uh, yeah, until next time, thank you for watching. Take it easy, guys. We'll see you later. Cheers.